What's up, everybody? Go Burns going over the Lowriders Custom Classics update. Officially available in Grand Theft Auto Online on Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC. There are three new rides, the Slam Van Custom, the Virgo Classic Custom, and, of course, the Faction Donk. We'll go over all those, and you can purchase the stock versions of the vehicles over at Benny's. And I love that new livery for the Slam Van, so I'm probably going to end up getting that one. All right, so you need the Faction in order to get the Faction Donk. The stock version of the Faction is $36,000. Not bad, but the upgrades will cost a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> All three of these rides are definitely going to eat money out of your maze bank account. And, of course, for the Slam Van, you're going to need about $50,000 just for the stock version of the Slam Van. And, finally, the Virgo Classic will get you $165,000 for the stock version of the Virgo Classic. Warning, do not purchase that Virgo. That Virgo is the wrong Virgo, so do not purchase the Virgo out of uh, Legendary Motorsports, because it's the wrong Virgo, okay? I learned that the hard way. <laughs> so if you want the Virgo Classic Custom, buy the Virgo off the Benny's website, not the one off Legendary. I don't know why they're both called the Virgo. I think that's a snafu there by Rockstar. Even though one is technically called the Virgo and the other one called the Virgo Classic, they're two different rides. By the way, there are new weapons, and we're going to check out the new weapons. Hell yeah! Maybe we'll do it after we show off the Slam Van Custom. There's the double barrel shotgun and the compact rifle. So two new weapons over at Ammunition. And I'm going to try and put all the new content into one video. I don't like breaking up videos and stuff. I'd rather just put it all one and done. Okay, so it's going to cost you $450,000. One fifteen. So... Not one, not 450, obviously, but 415 thousand dollars to uh, create the Slam Van Custom. And by the way, the attraction for the Slam Van Custom is even much better than the regular Slam Van. So that is one plus for the Slam Van Custom. Traction improved dramatically over the regular Slam Van. So. I don't know. I think of the three, this one is probably the one I like the most. But then again, I, I may end up liking the uh, Faction Dunk. It's just silly enough that I might actually get into that. It looks like you know a cross between a monster truck and a lowrider. So, like some sort of science experiment gone awry. <laughs> All right, so obviously the basic stuff, as with most of the uh, vehicles at Benny's, the various uh, interior engine options. And I'm not going to do any of these other upgrades because I don't know if I'm going to end up keeping these vehicles or not. I'm just showing you guys the customization features that come with each ride, like the exhaust, for example, with the Slam Van Custom. I like these. These are really cool. Pretty sweet. And I, I don't know. I mean, that's kind of sweet, too. I don't know. The stacks? I uh, don't know. I think I kind of like them on the sides. I think I'm going to go with them on the sides. Maybe or maybe not. I'm trying to decide. <laughs> decisions, decisions. Each decision you make, every purchase means less money in your maze bank account. So I'm going to pass right now on the exhaust. All right, so grills. What we got in the grill section here for the Slam Van Custom. And I kind of like that one. That one looks kind of cool. So um, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to go with this one. Okay, sweet. Because I'm planning on getting that World War II fighter plane. All right, I don't like that. That looks dumb. <laughs> and some superchargers. And yes, I like this. I like this Ram Air hood. I'm going to go with this for the uh, Slam Man Custom. That looks really cool. So uh, I don't think there's any horns. And the reason why I don't got the music on in the background is obvious reasons. I don't want to get a copyright strike or warning or anything like that. It's always a bitch to deal with. So that's why I got all that shit muted out. <laughs> So no new horns, unfortunately, with the Lowriders Custom Classics update. But let's see, we got hydraulics. If you want hydraulics, there's uh, some various interior options we're going to check out. So you can change the color of the roll cage if you want to, primary, secondary, or the interior color. And I don't know if I'm going to go into too much detail here on the Slam Van Custom because there's a lot of content we're going to go over in this video, and I don't want it to be too long. But as you can tell, you can change the, cr the trim of the interior of the Slam Van, which is one of the features that I really do like about uh, the recent addition of the Lowriders and some of the other vehicles as well. 
the ability to not only change the exterior colors but the interior colors because that gives your vehicle more of a, a unique you know personal touch and the bobblehead so I'm going to use the limited edition um, Corpse Bride as usual but I don't think there's any new uh, bobblehead so we'll just use uh, Corpse Bride which is only available if you got the uh, Halloween update so sadly if you didn't purchase the bobblehead during the Halloween update I don't think you can uh, use it so that's why I like the uh, Corpse Bride. <laughs> Bless you, so creepy and sexy at the same time. So here are all the different uh, dial designs, and I don't think I really care about that right now because they look like you know the typical designs. And here are the interiors. So this is not a very good shot here. Okay, so I think I'm gonna switch to third person because you can barely see the seats. All right, so let's just do that. All right, that's a little bit better. All right, so here's what some of the interior seat options look like for the slam van. And you know what? I think I'm going to save some money, and I'm just going to keep the uh, standard one. So uh, the wheels, let's check out the steering wheels for the Slam Van Custom. Eh, nothing new, nothing too exciting. And, you know, just the basic steering wheels that you've probably seen before. Let's see, the new shifters, uh, same shifters. So I'm probably going to go with the uh, tried and true, yes, the mic uh, shifter because I used to be in radio so that's why I use that one all the time. I am all about tradition <laughs> with the corpse ride bobblehead and the uh, you know old school mic for my shifter. Yeah, <laughs> that's how I roll. All right, so yeah, here are all the different uh, plaque options if you want to throw a plaque on the back of the Slam Van Custom. And um, let's see, obviously you can change the colors of the dials. You probably already knew about that, though. So what else do we get? Oh, the libraries. This is what you've been waiting for. All the sweet libraries. And I don't know why my uh, crew logo is on the uh, Slam Van. I'll take it off in a minute. <laughs> By the way, feel free and join the Crow Club. It's a crew I started a while back with some friends. It's pretty cool. We got nearly 90 uh, peeps now. And, of course... Yeah, I think it would have been easier if I would have taken the Crow Club logo off to begin with. I'm sorry about that. I don't even know why it was on there to begin with. But anyways, this is the one I'm definitely going to keep. This looks cool. The Blacktop Bomber. Hell yeah. Of course, almost everybody's probably going to want to get this one because this looks so cool. It has the, the similar wrap of uh, you know old school like uh, World War II fighter planes and bombers. That's what I really like about that library. So, yes, let's see. You know, the typical options when it comes to plates, vanity plates, etc. for the uh, lowriders. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and just make it black and yellow because I love those colors when it comes to the license plates in the game. <laughs> All right, so what else is there? Yeah, I'm taking the damn thing off. Okay, get off. Bye-bye. All right, let's see. Yes, okay. Now, that's, see, that's much better. I think that's way better. So, yeah, I think this is easily the best looking livery that's come for the uh, slam van custom and by the way let me know below in the comment section which of these new rides in the low riders custom classics update is your favorite the slam van custom the Virgo, the virgo classic custom or the faction donk by the way we are going to go over the faction donk and the Virgo Classic Custom in just a few, along with the two new weapons. And we're even going to swing by the closing store sooner or later. And I believe there are some new tats, too. So we might just go check out the new tats. I don't think there's any new masks. That kind of sucks. But there is a brand new adversary mode, I believe. Sumo. And I'm going to check that out sometime later. I don't know, whenever I get a chance. It looks interesting. So I think that's the new adversary mode, Sumo. I don't think there was any other ones. So one thing I don't like is the fact that we can't have it, you know, like the, the Lost Slam Van. I wish we could do that. I wish we had an option to make it look like the Lost Slam Van, but apparently you can't. But as the old saying goes, say la vie. So I think that's pretty much all the customization features for the Slam Van Custom. Looks really awesome. And like I mentioned a moment ago before, I was stuttering all over myself. I mean, it's early in the morning. I didn't get much sleep. The traction... For the Slam Van Custom is way better than the regular Slam Van, which is a definite plus in my opinion. So now we are going to show off the new weapons available at Ammunition. And they are the Double Barrel Shotgun and the Compact Rifle. And it looks like Rockstar has once again tweaked the weapons section in the uh, Ammunition. So we got the Double Barrel Shotgun for nearly $15,000. So we're going to purchase that sweet looking gun. Hell yeah. 
and there really isn't much to go with it besides various uh, different tents. Then the uh, compact rifle for about $14,000. And yeah, you definitely want to get that extended clip, which holds, what, 60 rounds? So there you go, the double barrel and, of course, the compact rifle. And I don't think there's anything else. So Rockstar is really running out of room here in the uh, <laughs> old ammunition store. And uh, by the way, uh, my Discuss uh, video this week, which will either air tomorrow or Friday, depending on whether or not I want to do the review for this uh, update tomorrow or Friday, one way or the other, is going to be about ammunition. So that's what's coming up this week in my Discuss series. Discuss ammunition and the future of the weapons in Grand Theft Auto Online. Because it's getting awfully crowded in ammunition, <laughs> as you can tell. All right, so we're going to walk outside, and I'm going to turn up the volume, crank it up, so we can uh, check out how these two new weapons are. Now, I would go on a rampage and start, uh, you know, killing and murdering people left and right, but at the same time, I don't want the cops on me, because I'm trying to actually show off the new rides in the custom update. So the double barrel shotgun fires two shots back to back, obviously. So it's bam bam like that. And now we're going to check out the uh, new uh, rifle. And I'm going to check out the stats on the compact rifle because I think it's actually weaker than the rifle I prefer using the bullpup. So we'll see in just a second. All right, so what do we got? All right, let's check this out. All right, so yeah, definitely. So the bullpup is a way better rifle than the uh, compact rifle. So I would not purchase the compact rifle, especially if you prefer... You know, the, the advanced carbine or the, um, you know, pull up. And the double barrel shotgun does a lot of damage. I mean, the damage on the double barrel shotgun is completely maxed out. So I would get that weapon. It's pretty sweet. But not really the compact rifle. Nah, forget about it. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to check out the faction dog. And by the way, I love the regular faction. I have it as a muscle car on the PlayStation 4. So you can just have it as a regular muscle car. You don't have to upgrade it. It still looks sweet. So you can either get the uh, custom donk, which is expensive as hell, or the regular uh, custom. So, But we're going for the uh, custom donk for nearly $700,000. <laughs> Look at those tires. That's crazy. <laughs> Mass. Yeah, like I said, I mean, I realize that this is a variation of, of a low rider, the donks. And I don't know if Rockstar is going to add any more donks down the road. Maybe, maybe not. I get the feeling they probably will. It makes sense. Especially if you know, a lot of people end up buying the faction donk and there's an appeal for it. So chances are the other low riders will probably get donk variations as well. At least some of them. And here are the various liveries for the uh, faction donk. These look kind of cool. A lot of them are the uh, you know fictional um, brands in the game for uh, the game, and uh, yeah, so it looks kind of sweet. Uh, there's Sprunk right there, and of course Meteorite. <laughs> and uh, let's see, I like this one. I think I'm going to go with Zebralicious. I, yes, we're doing Zebralicious for the Faction Donk. And there's not that many different customization features from the uh, Faction Donk and from the Faction Custom. Those are basically about the same. So there's really nothing new, except for the fact you have these big giant tires now on the Faction. So, I think one thing we're going to definitely show off is... Oh, yeah, I'm going to change one of the uh, colors here. I think I'm going to go with... Uh, what color works for Janine? Oh, uh, what do you think? What colors does she like? Oh, that's right, pink. So, we're going <laughs> to we're gonna make the primary color on her livery pink. And I know some people pronounce it differently. Livery, wraps, whatever. I pronounce it livery, okay? So, you know, it's like tomato, tomato. <laughs> So that's what we're going to do. <laughs> it's pink. It's Janine style. That's the way that T-girl is. <laughs> All right. So anyways, what else do we got? Some different roof options for the uh, faction donk. I think I'll do the custom roof. We'll, we'll probably go with that. Yeah, let's do that custom roof. And let's see. Oh, yeah. There are uh, the uh, rims. We'll quickly go over the various rims. And uh, let's see, what else we got? Uh, the basic transmissions, the basic upgrades, engine, transmission, etc. We're not going to do any of that. And uh, here's uh, the sweet uh, speakers in the back. If you want to you know, put some sound back there. Depends on what you want. Whatever floats your boat. All right, so what we're going to do, I believe, is we're going to show off the, uh, let's see, hold on. Yeah, the wheels. Okay, so the wheels 
are obviously supersized version of all the regular wills. So they took the regular wills that are already in the game and they supersized them. <laughs> Made them stupid big. Not not stupid big to the size of monster trucks, but, you know, kind of big. <laughs> I don't think I'd take the faction donk up against uh, the Liberator or the Marshall monster trucks. I don't think it would win. <laughs> but it is interesting. And it, it's fascinating you know, what, what people come up with for, for different ideas and variations of vehicles. And you, you had, you start off with normal vehicles, then eventually you came out with hot rods, then uh, low riders, now donks. And then of course you have a lot of uh, what uh, jacked up uh, truck, off-road trucks out there, you know, you know, the big stupid tires and, you know, it just, it's crazy, you know, but Hey, you know, that's part of the fun, you know, of having vehicles is the ability to say, hey, I got this idea, it's wild and crazy, I'm going to do it, and uh, maybe it'll catch on. So I think I'm going to go with this. I think I'm going to go with uh, those rims. <laughs> They're Celtic and St. Val- uh, pa- uh, Patty's Day. We already had St. Valentine's Day last month, but St. Patty's Day is just a few days away. So that's why we're going to go with the uh, Celtic rims for the uh, faction donk. <laughs> oh, man, that's just crazy. All right, so I'm going to... Get on out of Benny's, and we're going to go see what this thing looks like on the streets of Los Santos. <laughs> uh, I just can't get over that. That's just crazy. So, anyways, I look forward to seeing what uh, the other donks look like if Rockstar is actually planning on adding more donks down the road. And let me know below in the comment section, should Rockstar add more donks, or should Rockstar not? <laughs> when this donk is rocking, don't come a-knocking. <laughs> I think it's cool because, you know, it just adds more features, more options to the game. But hopefully Rockstar will do some other things besides lowriders because it feels like they've been there, done that. And chances are they probably got a few more lowriders they're going to eventually add. But I would like to see some other things like maybe like a, a bikers update. You know, bring in some of the uh, motorcycles that were in Lost in the Damned, you know, to Grand Theft Auto Online. Because there's a lot of uh, biker enthusiasts that play Grand Theft Auto Online. A lot of MCs. <laughs> Damn it. I wasn't paying attention. So I would also like a, a military update with a lot of uh, cool military stuff, uh, weapons, clothing, vehicles, etc. I realize we already have some military items, but the more the merrier. So hopefully Rockstar will go in various different directions when it comes <laughs> those wheels, when it comes to the future updates, if they're actually planning on more updates down the road. Hopefully they are. Hopefully uh, we're not reaching the end of Grand Theft Auto Online's uh, lifespan when it comes to uh, updates. I guess we'll find out sooner or later. So uh, anyways, this was the Faction Donk with its big tires. (laughs) Don't judge, you know, just accept it. for It's life choice, right? (laughs) Oh, (laughs) jeez. Okay, so we're now at the clothing store. We're going to check out some of the clothing options that have come with the Lowriders uh, Custom Classics update. And yes, there are you know clothing options, like the new work jackets. They look pretty sweet. I kind of like these work jackets. Obviously, I think they'll probably be available for male and female characters. So if you got a male-female character, or you know male character, or female character, or in my case, a, a T-girl character, like with Janine, my primary character on the Xbox One, yeah, you got some new clothing options, which is a pleasant surprise because... I honestly was not expecting some new clothing features. And there's some new uh, work sweaters. If you want to check out some of these new sweaters, they're kind of cool looking. They got some various uh, fictional brands in the game. And then, of course, we're going to check out what else is there. Okay, so there's some new uh, hoodies that are available if you're really into hoodies. And I like the uh, designs on these new hoodies. They look okay, those are the old hoodies from the old Lowriders update. And let's see. Okay, so here's some new uh, work shirts. These are also new uh, clothing items, part of Lowrider's Custom Classics. These look cool, too. And so you got the uh, work jackets, you got work shirts, work sweaters, and, of course, you got some new hoodies. And I think we have some other options as well we will go over when it comes to the uh, clothing section here and the uh, various clothing stores scattered throughout Southern San Andreas in Grand Theft Auto Online. So these are some really cool shirts, I think. And I think that's all the work shirts. Okay, I believe. All right, so anyways. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I don't know if I want any of these shirts, to be honest. I don't know if any of them work for Janine. 
I think that's it. Okay. So, uh, yeah, there's some short sleeve work shirts as well. T-shirts. Work T-shirts, that's what they're called. <laughs> so, I think that's it when it comes to the uh, tops. And, yeah, I, I think that's it for the tops. All right. So, what we're going to do is we are going to uh, move on over. And uh, let's see. I'm, I'm trying to decide if I actually want one of these uh, jackets. <laughs> Because they look really cool. So I haven't decided yet. I may just have to come back in a few minutes and uh, maybe get that one. That one looks kind of sweet. I may buy that one. I don't know. <laughs> decisions, decisions here in the uh, Lowriders Custom Classics update. So there you go. Those are the uh, new uh, bomber jackets. And I believe that's it for tops, I think. Okay, so now we're going to walk over and we're going to check out some of the pants because there's a new pair of jeans. Yeah, classic blue jeans if you want. You know, a new pair of jeans. Only one pair, though, unfortunately. And there are also some new shorts. So here you go. Here are the four new shorts that have come with Lowrider's Custom Classics. And I think over in the front there are some outfit sections, if you want to go check that out. We may do that in a minute. No new glasses, unfortunately. I believe there's some new chains. So if you like chains, I think there's a couple new, like, tire chains. They look kind of weird. Anyways, uh, let's see if there's any new hats. And it doesn't look like there's any new hats. That kind of sucks. By the way, I don't think there's any new masks either. And I don't know if there's any new hairstyles. There may or may not be. I, I doubt it, though. So uh, here's the uh, various outfit options for uh, Lowriders Classics. If you just like going up to the front and just grabbing one of these outfits, you know, feel free to do so. I realize some people like to just buy all the new items. I'm very picky and frugal I only buy items I I want to keep or have any remote interest in and that's one of the reasons why I'm never broke in Grand Theft Auto Online because I don't go out buying every damn thing <laughs> and I think there's some uh, new boots okay so there's a few new boots not not Janine's pink boots obviously <laughs> all right so let's see let's scroll back to the top okay yeah so here's some of the new uh, boots that have come with the Lowriders custom classics update so I, I think that's it. I think that's all there is when it comes to the clothing, the new boots, uh, a pair of jeans, some new shorts, the work sweaters, work shirts, work jackets, and the new hoodies, and of course the work t-shirts. And let's see, here is a lesson that you need to learn. I may have mentioned this a moment ago, but this is the Virgo you want, the Virgo Classic on the Benny's website. Do not purchase that Virgo. This is the wrong Virgo. I made that mistake. <laughs> And I paid for it. So eventually I'm going to sell the uh, Virgo back, that other Virgo. We're going to take this one to Benny's right now, and we're going to check it out. So this is the Virgo Classic. This is the one you upgrade and make the Virgo Classic custom, not the other one, FYI. So the uh, upgrade charge is not too expensive, $240,000 to make it the Virgo Classic custom. And uh, there's a few options if you want some antennas. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to go real old school, back before satellite radio. And uh, there's a couple wiper options, chrome and secondary. I'm going to go with secondary. Yeah, we'll do that. All right, and uh, the tank. Let's see, got some tank options. I'm trying to get down as low as possible on this one. Try to get a good view of it. So I'm not even worried about the tank. I don't really care about that. And uh, let's see, the uh, let's see curb fin feelers. If you want some curb feelers on your Virgo uh, Custom Classic. And, uh, okay, the interior engine design. See, I don't worry about this stuff. I really don't. That's just more money out of your pocket. But some people are into that sort of thing, to each their own. That's my philosophy. I just consider it a waste of money. <laughs> Another way that Benny's loves to eat your maze bank account. So I try to save as much as I can whenever I'm taking uh, these new rides into Benny's, whether it's the low riders or the two new supercars, the uh, custom RS now, the Sultan RS are the uh, Banshee 900R. And I think I'm going to go with, uh, see, the Sports Grill? Yeah, I like that. Let's do that. And next, let's see. You can get hydraulics if you want, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm just showing off the, all the other features. So here are the interiors. These interiors look really cool. So I'm glad that there's actually some interior options for the Virgo uh, Classic Custom. And Zebra, Tiger, Leopard. Which one do I like the most? I think Tiger. I think I'm going to go with Tiger. I'm, I'm leaning Tiger. Yes, let's do Tiger. So, yeah, that's what we'll do. <laughs> Next, uh, obviously adding the uh, Princess Corpse Bride bobblehead, as with tradition. 
And uh, see, there's the various, you know, same dial options that you can, uh, you know, swap through and pick out whichever one is your favorite. And I don't know, let's see, if there's any new steering wheels, I don't think so. So no new steering wheels. And if I decide to keep this ride, I'll customize it further. I'm just going over real quick some of the uh, other options for you if you want to try any of these. And, of course, obviously I'm going to get the old school mic for my uh, shifter. <laughs> what a shock, right? And, yes, there are plaques for the uh, Virgo Classic Custom. Next is, let's see. Oh, yes, we need some speakers in the back. We'll put some speakers back here so we can you know, have some sound. And uh, let's go with the neons. I think, the, uh, yeah, the shelf neons are what I want to use. All right, we're going to do that. <laughs> All right, so next, the uh, light colors. Well, let's go ahead and uh, make the light colors hot pink, Janine. Go for it. Why not? <laughs> Uh, I realize that this costs a lot of money to do now, but at the same time, I love having more customization features for these rides, and hopefully, eventually, we'll see it in more vehicles, like like they did with the uh, you know the Sultan and of course the uh, Banshee. I'd love to see uh, like more of the sports cars and muscle cars and supercars, you know, be able to be taken into Benny's, even though that will end up costing you a lot of money. I still like the idea of being able to you know further customize the vehicles exteriors as well as interiors because like I mentioned a moment ago it really does make you feel like that it's it's more like your ride more customed and the liveries are kind of cool here on the um, Virgo Classic Custom I'm trying to decide which one I like but they look cool I like them let's see which one hmm I kind of like this one I think I'm gonna go with geometry even though I absolutely sucked at geometry back in high school I was horrible. Like basic math, math, I'm pretty good at. Algebra, I sucked at. And geometry, I was terrible at. <laughs> so let's see. What else we got? We're going to go ahead and just do the license real quick. Because I just, I don't know why. I'd just rather have it black and yellow. And let's see. What else is on the Virgo Classic that we can do? I think I want to change the secondary color. So let's do that. All right. So what can we do? Okay. So we can change the uh, roof of the Virgo Classic to something else. I want to make it look a little different, but I don't know what would work with that color scheme. Let's see. We can make it black, but mm, I don't know. Or we could keep it hot pink, so we could do that. But I don't. I don't like that. I, I feel like that the roof needs to be a different color. That's just that's just the angle I'm going here. So maybe the issue is we need to go with like a, a different style. Maybe matte. Yes. I think we'll go with a matte color. I'll, if I feel like changing it, I'll do it later. <laughs> it's no big deal. But then again, I may end up selling it. But like I said a moment ago, let me know below in the comment section, which of the three new Lowriders Custom Classics do you like? The Slam Van Custom, the uh, <laughs> Faction Donk, or the uh, Virgo Classic Custom? So, yeah. They're all pretty cool looking with a lot of customization features for all three new rides. But I would have to say that I'm leaning on the Slam Van Custom. I'm a the very least, I'm probably going to upgrade my Slam Van on the PS4 to the Slam Van Custom. So I'm probably going to do that. But I don't know if I'm going to keep any of these. I may keep this ride, the Virgo Classic. So there you go. That is the Virgo Classic. Now what we're going to do is we're going to head on to the tattoo shop and check out the new tattoos. Because finally, we have some new tattoos in the game. By the way, for all characters, male characters, female characters, you know, T-girl characters like Janine here. <laughs> So, yeah, you can get new tattoos. And let's see. They look kind of cool. Some skull options. Very detailed. I like those. Not bad. I just, uh, I'm just going to keep uh, Janine's typical <laughs> tattoos. But anyways, I'm just showing these off so you can check them out and see what they look like. Lady Liberty. I don't get that because Lady Liberty doesn't exist in the Grand Theft Auto universe. It's the Statue of Happiness. FYI. You know, small thing, right? So anyways, uh, let's check out the uh, left arm. Another skull, kind of creepy, kind of cool at the same time. And, uh, yeah, I love Hustle. That looks really cool. I like that. And, of course, the uh, right arm, not bad. Some more. I'm trying to, you know, get a good angle on these. Sorry if I'm failing miserably. All right, so now the legs. There's one for each of the legs. So there you go. Those are the uh, brand new tattoos that have come with the Lowriders Custom Classics update. If you're interested in tattoos, and once again, the three new vehicles, the Faction Donk, and uh, yeah, that's interesting. I think I like my uh, regular Faction Custom a lot better. <laughs>
I don't know if this is really going to work for me. And of course, the Slam Van Custom, which looks really cool with that World War II livery. And the Virgo Classic, another awesome addition courtesy of the Low Riders Custom Classics. Along with the two new weapons, the Double Barrel Shotgun, the Combat Rifle, and the uh, new clothing options, work jackets, work shirts, work sweaters, new hoodies, shorts, a pair of jeans, boots, chains, and uh, see the brand new adversary mode, which I'm going to check out later. The uh, what sumo? So there you go. That is the uh, Lowriders Customs Classic update. Let me know below in the comment section what do you think of the brand new update. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you not care one way or the other? Feel free and leave your thoughts below in the comment section. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, and if you're new to the channel, check out my content. And if you like what you see, be sure and hit that subscribe button because each and every subscription goes a long ways towards helping my channel continue to grow. We're officially over a thousand subscribers now, which is awesome. And I've only gotten this far because of you, my faithful viewers, subscribers, fans and friends you all are awesome so thank you from the bottom of my heart for all your support you rock and you're the reason why i continue to do what i do